Hello, everyone. Um, so this is our app, My Recipe Book. Thank you for being here today. Um, this was done by Teresa Cow, Austin Robinson, and myself, Amina Zreek. Um, so yes, my name is Teresa, and I graduated with a Doctor of Pharmacy and Bachelor of Science in Chemistry at the University of Minnesota. Um, I worked as a pharmacist for a little bit and even managed a store, but when I had a chance to work at Impact Farm, a company that is developing a pharmacist consulting services app, um, I, I had an opportunity to help out with web development because it was a startup, and I found that I really loved that and wanted to pursue that, so um, I discovered that Dev10 was a very well-established uh, training uh, program that I could um, try and um, have immediate uh, training opportunities. Hello, my name is Austin Robinson. I'm a recent uh, graduate graduate from the University of Minnesota Morris with a Bachelor of Arts degree in computer science. Uh, during my time at Morris, I st uh, studied a lot of computer science and uh, really fell in love with working with Java there and doing uh, backend development. But uh, unfortunately, though, I wasn't quite well pre prepared enough for real world uh, coding. But I found the Dev10 program <laughs> and found that was like a perfect fit with Java development and then kind of being able to do a project like this, where, like focusing on backend and just coding in Java. Hello everyone, I'm Amina Zreek. Um, I have a Bachelor of Science in Applied Mathematics and I'm currently a graduate student at my alma mater for the same degree. I initially wanted to become a teacher, but after one semester of tutoring, tutoring, I quickly realized that it's not the career path I wanted to get into. And due to the overlap of the field computer science and math, I did take a bunch of coding classes and I really enjoyed them. So I came across Dev10 and their um, willingness to teach you everything you would need to have a successful start in the tech careers, but really drew me to them. And that is how I found myself here today. So our app is called My Recipe Book. It's a digital recipe book where you can create, manage, and save recipes online. So you never have to worry about losing grandma's famous recipe ever again. Some of the features that we included were registering and logging in, creating a recipe book, adding, editing, and deleting recipes from your recipe book, and adjusting serving sizes for your recipes so you can make sure that your guests always have the right amount of food. So we use uh, various amounts of uh, different technologies in this project. Uh, on, I'll start with the back end. On the back end, we primarily used IntelliJ as an IDE, then kind of built this project using uh, and configured it using Maven. Uh, then we used the Spring uh, Boot uh, framework to uh, develop the backend to handle HTTP requests and uh, gets, and then also JUnit for uh, testing. Uh, and moving to the front end, uh, we used uh, we primarily used uh, Visual Studio's code to code uh, <laughs> uh, the front end and using uh, JavaScript uh, language. Uh, we use, a, we use also React to build the application and its uh, library. Uh, and design was handled using CSS. Uh, we also used, uh, Terry used uh, Canva for uh, uh, handling, uh, designing pictures and designs. And then in the database side, we used uh, MySQL work uh, workbench to write the scripts and to create the tables as we, and then we used uh, Docker to centralize the database so that we're able to all have the same data. Uh, so it's currently uh, using my digital ocean. We have a virtual machine that's running uh, the database. And now I'm going to stop sharing so that Terry can um, demo our project for you guys. All right, so this is our website where you can um, store all of your recipes, create them, edit them, and delete them. Um, we do have a special feature where you can um, generate a random recipe among the database um, if you can't decide what to eat. Um, we have a cute little about page uh, with our team and our favorite dishes. Uh, and just a contact page. So the database is protected by uh, username. So we have a sample uh, user that we created. 
And that user has uh, has all of their recipe books that they can um, get. They can create recipe books and edit the books. And the book will host all each of their uh, recipe recipes. And you can access the recipe by clicking into them. You can adjust the serving sizes proportionally. It, uh, each recipe has prep time, cook time, meal type, ethnicity. So these are all optional data. So uh, if you don't have them, it'll just come up blank. To add a recipe, you just need to click and populate your information. And you can then add ingredients to this test recipe, say squid, um, flour. And you can also delete these ingredients. When it's complete, you should be able to find it in your recipe book. Um, you can also edit the recipe as you'd like. So now the word test disappeared, you can also delete your recipes once you confirm. And we also have a register page where you can create an account. And once you log in, once you create an account successfully, it just logs you in right away. I'm gonna go back to our PowerPoint. So Tari, you wanna bring up some of the challenges you had? Yes, so um, I took the lead on the front end. And so it was challenging to juggle objects that are dependent on each other. So right now ingredient is dependent on the recipe object. So we had to kind of figure out how to order the multiple fetches um, correctly. And then I think another challenge was tying the user to the objects and um, to make sure that each recipe book had a user tied to it. And then Austin, would you like to talk about um, some of the issues you had on validation? Yeah, I started talking, but I was muted. Uh, uh, so with uh, on the service layer, there were some uh, challenges with uh, creating validations. And uh, uh, so when data got sent in, like if something unexpected would get sent through, it didn't just crash uh, the program. But generally uh, through uh, writing tests and uh, developing roles like with uh, certain validations, uh, able to prevent any unexpected uh, uh, data from going in. Uh, another uh, challenge also was uh, setting up the centralized uh, database and kind of configuring that. Uh, generally, we kind of have used uh, uh, local databases, but kind of uh, setting up that up and kind of creating a container for that on a virtual machine was uh, an interesting challenge. And then on the database side, I think our main challenge was pretty much figuring out the relationships that we wanted our tables to have and um, whether or not they were one-to-one -one or one-to-many and how we wanted to connect our tables with bridge tables and what those relationships looked like and making sure that they matched on all ends of our project. And then some upcoming features that we're hoping to um, add to our project is filtering by meal type and ethnicity, adding allergy or dietary restrictions, adding more images and adding a working search bar. And that is it for our presentation. Thank you for your time. We will take questions and answers. We are all ready to leverage your random recipe generator uh, post haste, I think. That was a really, really well done application. Uh, great work, you guys. Thank so you. lots of lots of kudos to you on your um, project here. I'm trying to read through quick to see what we've got for questions. So I think most everyone is just really cheering you on here. Um, I'm curious from you guys, what was the what was the one feature that surprised you in terms of either its ease or its um, difficulty in terms of implementation? Uh, if I may uh, go, I'd say definitely ingredients was really uh, kind of difficult. And it was what took us, I think, the longest to get fully implemented and work because generally when we're working on implementing ingredients, we're all working on together, uh, developing different parts of that. Uh, Mina was working on uh, configuring the table in the database. Uh, Terry was focused on creating the fetch call and connecting everything on the front end. And I was focused on kind of making sure like uh, the data was, the front end was connecting to the database correctly and sending the right data back and putting the right data in. Definitely. Yeah, I would definitely say the ingredient that was challenging. Um, we, we, I guess we could have gone the easy way and done it so that 
you know, like you would, the ingredient database is managed separately, but we just really wanted to make it easy for the user to manage the whole recipe ingredient, including the ingredients. Um, so that was, yeah, that was cha more challenging than I expected. <laughs> And uh, also kind of with like creating a separate table for the ingredients, it did allow us to uh, more easily kind of scale the ingredients or like, and for the serving. So if like instead of like, oh, like this is originally for four people, but I want to double it. It's a lot easier to do it that way instead of just having a good text document. Well, you guys, I know you are the last group and I don't see any more questions here. So I am going to give you a round of applause. Thank you. I know how hard it is to wait all day too. So the, the pressure builds and you guys really delivered. So thank you for, for putting together such an amazing application and, and, and putting together such a great presentation. Uh, Scott also mentioned he loved the slideshow. I agree. Really great aesthetic across the board. You guys put together a really cool application. So congratulations, Sue Coders. Thank you.